Welcome to Copper Thoughts Media. Uh, here we are with another break for Copper Thoughts cards. And today we are opening up the Panini FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 uh, five pack of stickers that I picked up at my local family dollar. As you guys know, I've been uh, pretty much terrorizing <laughs> my local family dollar. And, I, and once I realized that they had cards, and I asked if they had any more football cards late the last time I was there. They said they didn't, but they did have these sticker packs. So I said, you know, let's give it a shot. And I definitely want to get on the channel and talk to you guys about stickers in general from in terms of collecting. As you know, we rip cards, but stickers and inserts come as well. But let's first take a look and see. Oh, these are cool. Looks like these are individually packed also. Look at that. Oh, this one looks like it's torn already. So I guess we'll open this one first. Pretty cool. Now on this box, it does say to look for parallels of green, or blue, red, purple, green, and black. So let's take a look and see. I'll put a, a note on screen to see exactly what the chase is or what some of the values are. But these will be up for sale up on Copper Thoughts Cards as always on eBay, and it looks like the first sticker is a Rick Gutierrez. Wow, this is so small. It's almost like a stamp. <laughs> uh, yeah, looks like it's on Team Mexico. Looks like some of the others are in here are, there's that one. This is a, I don't know what this is. Looks like a gold sticker, Deutscher Fußball Bund. Okay. The next one is a CR emblem. I'm not sure what team or country that is. Croatia, possibly? Costa Rica? I'm not sure. This is what the backs look like. Pretty nice sticker. I assume these come with sticker books you can put them in. Here's a Sergio or Sergino from Team USA. And the last sticker is is not a sticker. What is this? This is a huh? It's like an insert of some kind. I'm not sure, but that's the last one in these packs. This is. I'm so glad I'm opening this. I was not expecting these to be this small. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. Look how small that is. Let me just the light too. Well, in terms of this from a normal card, there's a Sammy Sosa. Just to give you a comparison. These are smaller than Topps Mini cards, so interesting. So let's go for the next pack. And like I said before, if you have that itch, next time you're at your local family dollar or dollar general, ask if they have trading cards or sports cards. They usually have Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, which I am not getting into. This one seems to be a little stuck. But they definitely do have trading cards if you have that urge or need to rip. So here's a Spain Pedri. Here's a Thibault. Hopefully you can see it. Looks like Belarus. The next sticker... It's a Thomas Delaney from Denmark. I've heard that name. The next is a Joseph Brokalo from, I believe, Croatia. And the last is a Team Japan player, E.G. Kawash Kawashima. Interesting. No gold stickers in that pack. Yeah, let's go on. Looks like we have three more. But uh, the, another reason why I'm doing these is that I have graded stickers in the past, which I'm going to show as well. And also inserts. I haven't graded any, but I'm thinking about it because I do like inserts. I know I mentioned that previously in other videos. Here's a Guillermo, Guillermo Ocha, Ochoa, maybe. There we go. Here's a Serge Nerby. Oh, there's some color in the back. Here's a Joel Campbell. And the 
next up we have is oh okay it's like a gold 1978 argentina sticker pretty cool pretty cool and last is a marcelo brozovic from croatia it looks like okay now will i buy more of these no <laughs> Like I said, this is literally a checkout, and I asked the guy, hey, where are your football cards? They had score 2023 pack. I'm looking for the pack to point out up here. And they had these prestige uh, cards at my local family dollar. And here we go. Next up, we have a Daniel Malin. Looks like there's some color in here too. Next we have an Ederson from Brazil. You know he must be good. He only has one name. <laughs> He's a Ferran Torres from Spain. Another gold one of the Federation of Tunisian Football. I, I want to say that is Morocco. No, not Morocco. I forget. Let's see. It doesn't really. Tunisia, I believe. And the last one is a Team Brazil sticker. Now, are these actually... Yeah, they, they look like just pictures, but I guess they do peel. So, I don't know. I don't know. Something for everyone. Last pack magic. Let's take a look and see. As mentioned, these will be up for sale. Up on Copper Thoughts cards if you're interested in stickers. This is one of the only ones that have a click... There's some bad quality. This one felt a little peeled on the back end. You can see that. Right there. Uh, we have uh, Abdul Karam Hassan from Qatar. Team France. Looks like a nice sticker. Nicolas Atambi from Argentina. Oops. Bachar Ben Said from Tunisia. And the last sticker is Albat Stadium. Hmm. Pretty interesting. So now we got that out of the way, which is what was the whole point of this video. Let's talk about more inserts and or stickers because I'm a little torn, guys. But yeah, that's not bad. Five bucks for a little stack of 25 stickers. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you go to the you go to the dollar store for little things, and you come out with stuff you don't need. But so is life. So the reason why I'm talking is that I have a number of stickers that I've had over gotten over the years. And just to give you an example, here is a Fleer 1989 sticker. I just, <laughs> you wonder what the writing is. This is just what I wrote and tracked what it would be worth. $179 if it was ungraded, $13 if it's a 7, $14 if it's 8, $39 if it's a 9, $55 if it's 9.5, and $135 if this was graded a 10, which it's not. It's off center. Um, this is when I first started getting back into cards. <laughs> I purchased a complete set on eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. Factory sealed. It got, came with a good deal. And it came with the stickers attached. You can see it says peel here for the stickers. Now, uh, just to give you an idea, I did send some off to grading for the with the delusions of, well, I'm going to get rich grading stickers and <laughs> from the 80s. So this is a Dale Ellis. This is up on my uh, store. I sell most of these for $1.50 up on Copper Thoughts cards. So here's a Chris Mullen as well. Just to give you an idea, but I did send some off for grading too, and this is this came back a five SGC five on the Magic Johnson Flare sticker. They are you can see they're clearly off center. I'm not sure why I sent these in, but like I said, when you first get started in grading cards, you, you get excited. You start, oh, I'm gonna send these in and get rich, or you know, they, these look like perfect tens. So they clearly were off centers, but they were in good quality. So. I mean, once I hold on to these, you know, 10, 20 years, these will be worth more money, obviously. Here's a Michael Jordan 6. 
and the last one I have is a Patrick Ewing 6 in the 89 Fleer stickers. So, like I said, I don't, I don't want to say I got burned, but pretty much these are worth now the cost of grading. <clears throat> it's about $15 a card to grade SGC. Now, I also come across, as I said, I buy lots. So, I, everyone's seen these. These uh, logo team stickers. I have all types of complete sets of these, but they fall apart. I mean, stickers from the 80s and 90s are not meant to last. Same with um, these puzzles. You know, puzzles that come with uh, inserts with Don Ross and Topps cards in the 80s and 90s. They're fun to put together. I, I do like doing so. This is another one I had from my childhood. Love this card. <laughs> I had all the pieces to Clemente. Let's get a good close-up of that. And, yeah, I love it. Uh, I would kind of send this in for grading, but I'm not sure what it would be. I just want to put it in a better slab as opposed to this top loader. But I might put it in a one-touch or the other reason we're doing this video is I might put it in one of these. So everyone remembers screw down heart cases. Uh, in the 80s and 90s, we were always taught, that's why I have the Jim Kelly in here, <laughs> you know, put your good cards and save them in the in the screw down cases, but we've learned now that these do a lot of damage to the cards. Now this one, this is my girlfriend's Josh Allen rookie. You can see this as it's in a penny sleeve, and then we put this on top. But we're gonna open it up because we wanna set it off for grading. And I've learned and was told that if cards are in these too long, they get compressed and the grading companies will say it's compromised. So. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to take some of these out, uh, just to give an example. Now, I am nervous. This one is not in a penny sleeve. And as you can tell, I mean, it's just a base Jim Kelly from, what is this, 80, 89? This is one, as well as here is another. Here's a Thurman Thomas rookie. Um, but like I said, it's not in a penny sleeve. So I do have a number of these, but I've always wanted to take these out, but I get nervous. And why do I get nervous? Because the last time <laughs> I took out a card, let me just put this stuff up here. There we go. The last time I took out a card that was in one of these hard cases, I damaged the card because, well, the card got damaged. And this is the card we're talking about. This was in 87 Don Ross Greg Max rookie card. And I put this in one of those cases from childhood. And as I took it off, as you can see right there, uh, the paint chipped right off of the card. So if you do put your cards in these, which is hilarious. I still have these from the 90s. <laughs> Hey, look, this was 95 cents. This will protect your card and, you know, for, for the value, but you have to put it in a penny sleeve before you put it in there. So just to give a little heads up for people out there who are trying to protect their cards, for, especially for long-term investments. Here's a couple more I found that I had sleeved up or not sleeved up, but in jackets. I call these jackets. But they're not in penny sleeves, which is funny because I was looking for this. I had the complete set and I couldn't find <laughs> the Chipper Jones rookie. I was like, I know I've had it. And then my parents found it in a shoebox. So thank you, Mom and Dad, for keeping that, not throwing it out. And then here's another one. This is Mark McGuire. Um, same year as that, as this Donruss, as this one, the rookies. But like I said, I'm a little nervous taking this off to that you know i do have another one of these cards but i just want to get it out of here just to see what will happen because i'm curious like that and the last but not least what we're going to perform surgery on today is i came across this as well this is a michael jordan three card screw in and pretty much i just want this card out <clears throat> These are just, well, these are base, and I have others of these, but I do not have this one, and I want to send this off for grading as well. 
and I can't tell if it's in a penny sleeve or not. So we're gonna be doing surgery on Jordan first. <laughs> so let's clear this stuff out of the way. Or at least move it back. We'll move it back. All right. And let's see, hopefully, fingers crossed, no damage on the Jordan card. All right, so I got my big old multi-tool, so just bear with me. Let's get these screws out. So bottom line, when you're collecting and doing your cards, people, please put them in penny sleeves first, and then just use traditional, um, I, wanna, I don't wanna say, top loaders or mag holders those are pretty nice as well because i don't think that they will compress the card as bad as say some of these other ones now i do have other cards too that are pretty that are in these sleeves that i'm extremely nervous about taking out for example i'll put screenshots up of um i have a ricky henderson rookie i have a shack rookie in one of these um these molds and it's like I would like to get it out to better protect it but also I'm just nervous if I you know I don't want to pull a Maddox <laughs> I don't want to pull a Greg Maddox on the card so it's kind of like you're damned if you do damn if you don't but there's a snowstorm here in Buffalo again so I got the time and let's uh do some surgery real quick almost done with this one We'll probably do this in order. We'll do Jordan, Chipper Jones, and Mark McGuire, and then Josh Allen. And those should be a lot easier. This should be the last one. All right. So let's see. Got them all out. And this is a nice little placard too. There we go. Looks like it just slides out. And these should just fall out. And just as I suspected, it's not in a penny sleeve, but it looks good. This is going to look good in a tuxedo. What do you guys think? What do you think this will grade up as? I'll put the stats on what this card's worth. Uh, this is a Fleer Metal 1995-96 Jordan card. And, I mean, it's, it's goatee Jordan, which is... The elitist form of Michael Jordan, if you ask me. <laughs> so we're going to put this aside. I do not have a penny sleeve. Yeah. That's a bad penny sleeve. And yes, there are good and bad penny sleeves, but we're just going to put one in a bad one. You can see why I say it's bad. Look how thick this is. So just for now. Yeah, good. No damage to that. Here are the other two. Looks to be in good shape. I'll probably put this up on the store. Might have a nice Jordan run of cards coming up pretty soon. And here is the other. Looks like no damage, so that's good. This one looks pretty good. Edges, corners, centering. I'll definitely look up to see what this is worth going forward. But so far, in terms of surgery, we are one for one, people. <laughs> One successful surgery. Let me get these screws out of the way. All right, number two. Let's go for Josh Allen. Go Bills, by the way. And let's go here. Bills Chiefs, who you got? Obviously, I'm a Bills fan here. I'm predicting the Bills Lions Super Bowl. We're keeping that, oops, a Great Lake Super Bowl, so to speak. Throw it back to the old AFL days. Ralph Wilson would probably be happy about that decision. All right, so there's two. And like I said, this one should be in good shape, but I just want to get it out. Put it in a card saver one or two to so send it off for grading. And almost got it. And there we go. All right. So let's see Josh Allen. 
slides right on out. And hopefully when we send this off, it won't come back as um, tampered or inauthentic because it's been compressed by the hard plastic saver, but looks good. Looks pretty solid, so all right. She'll be happy about that one. So let's put this one up in the sleeve. Put this over here for now. Two for two, no damage, but I wasn't worried about the Josh Allen one as much as I am for these ones. So let's see. This chipper, look at this. It even has, I don't know, burn marks or something on there. I don't know. I do not know, but let's get to work. Oops, let's change that up. Need a flathead for this. Sorry for my tools, but uh, this was the quickest screwdriver I could find. <laughs> so let's get it in here. And like I said, this is a 1991 Upper Deck Chipper Jones rookie or prospect top prospect card and i literally had the whole remaining set of this in a binder but his card was one of the few that were missing i was like i know i had this card but well now it is properly home with the rest and almost there. All right. Moment of truth. All right, so we're going to take this off. And nice, no sticking. Cool. That's what I was worried about. All right. So here's the Chipper Jones. Looks good. Just a little fraying on the side. Like I said, I don't want to grade this per se i just want to put it with all the other ones in the binder so good three for three people let's go we're gonna leave thurman thomas and jim kelly in there but we're gonna get mcguire out now also too before you do that <laughs> I've had so many of these stickers. For example, this is another one. This is a pack from 87 with logo stickers and updated trading cards. I just don't want to open it. <laughs> I don't I don't really want to deal with stickers from the 80s anymore. <laughs> they don't stick. They peel. They're, they're disintegrating. I don't know. I don't know. I just wonder what other people think when they come across... Uh, these stickers that they have, but let's get in here. Let me get my wire out. Let's just get this, take this out. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully, he will be in good shape as well. Actually, I kind of need this back. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a safe 2024. Like I said, we're going through another storm. I'm sure people saw that from the Bills and Steelers last weekend. We're still dealing with remnants of that. All right. These flatheads are really in here good. I guess if I had a real screwdriver instead of this multi-tool, but... We're almost there. All right, there's one. One more screw. Right. Probably put the value of these cards up on here once I'm doing some editing. But so far, it looks to be. The Greg Maddox one hurt. I was crushed when I took it out. <laughs> I was like, no, because then I thought, I was like, man, if that happened to this one, to that card, all these other cards that my father and I put these in these top loaders or these screw downs, they're probably damaged too. So I think I got it. 
There we go. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see. What's this? All right, no damage. Nice. Sweet. So there's a Mark McGuire rookies uh, from the 1987. Nice. Looking good, Mark. Looking good. The classic yellow background. Hmm. Cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, the reason why, like I said, going over this, we ripped open the stickers from it first uh, that I got from the dollar store. I also have a number of these other ones. I thought about grading some of these, but I mean, whatever. I just give these to get these away. But I used to love these as a kid. Here's Chief Wahoo. I forget the word. Yeah, these are from 91. Here's some more stickers. The Pirates. The Giants. Hologram. Dodgers. Like I said, in the 90s, everything was a hologram. <laughs> Good times. Here's another. Oh, two pirates. There's another Giants. No Mets, though. I'm surprised. Or I probably had the Mets and used it. That Expos is sick, though. I always said I was going to cut these out and, you know, do something with them. But, oh, there's a the Mets one. Well, this will probably be up on the wall pretty soon. I thought about just keeping some of the stickers and puzzle pieces and putting them up on the backdrop, but I don't know. We'll see. Here's a Padres. Here's a Philadelphia Phillies. Very sick. And of course, you can't do that without dealing with the the cards, too. Here's a Ruben Sierra from the Texas Rangers. Trying to catch this with the right light, but it's a little hard to see. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to take care of your cards properly, people. Top loaders, penny sleeves, card saver ones, and <clears throat> magnetic touchdowns only. The days of screw down covering for our cards is over. So thanks again and stay tuned for the next rip. Bye. All right, so as I just showed, we just retrieved the Chipper Jones out of the <clears throat> hard plastic screw down case. But here is the binder. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> that I keep the 1991 cards in that I've had since childhood. And you can see some of the stickers I was talking about. These ones, you know, once you put them on, they stay. But just to give you an idea, let's do it like this. Here is the... Oh, it looks good. Here is the Star... 1991 Star Rookie Checklist. And as you can see... I did find the Bernie. I have them elsewhere. But I was like, where is... Because this is 99% complete from 91. I said, where in the world is... Trevor Downs? <laughs> Couldn't find him for a while, but... We got him. Thanks to Mom and Dad. He has been found. And let's put him back with the rest of his draft class. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, as always. And we're going to put this back on in here. These are the thicker sleeves, too. Come on. Come on. There we go. I don't usually like keeping cards in binders, but, I mean, when you have 690 of them in binders, you might as well put them on. And just to give you an idea... It's a nice set. I went through and tried to pre-grade some of them. Like, oh, you just saw there was an error card from uh, Jose every day. I was going to take this one out and try to grade and sell it, but I said, eh, whatever. Might as well keep it all complete. So, yeah. Thanks again. The 90s have been saved. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. Signing off.